APC National Chairman Abdullahi Adamu faces battle to remain the party chairman and suspend all actions on Ms. Oman says uh, reps to jam. And this is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anuko. Following his disapproval of principal officers of the National Assembly, announced by Senate President Goswila Kwabiu uh, and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, and um, on Tuesday, there are strong indications that the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, is facing a battle to remain the party's chairman. Now, it was also gathered that the president is currently shopping for Adamu's replacement and will make his position known when the party holds its National Executive Committee meeting on July 11. Joining us to discuss this is Tunji Abdulhamid. He's a legal practitioner. And also joining us is Sube Eli. He's a legal practitioner and a member of the All Progressive Congress in River State. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Thank you for having me. Good evening, Sobe. So, I want I want to start with you because you're a member of the All Progressive Congress, and um, um, there are, there have been subtle subtle rumblings within the party um, over the past few months, even before uh, the 2023 general elections. We saw um, even when it came to. Um, the selection of certain officers who were going to lead, in fact, the Senate president and the speaker, uh, we saw certain rumblings and grumbling within the party. We saw people who kicked against what the party had called its anointed fellows for the position, the likes of Senator Kwabi and um, Abbas. Um, it seems that um, right now there's some sort of trouble in paradise for the chairman of your party. Um, it could be time for a shake-up in the APC nationally. So, where can you hear me? Okay, Tunji, I'm going to toss that question to you until we're able to get Sawaya back here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Sawaya, go ahead. Yeah, um, it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that um, we have to start the 10th Assembly with crisis. One would have thought that... Um, the party will remain supreme for all times. The party had taken a position ahead of the margins of Senator Fabio as city president and the uh, uh, right of Botajina as speaker, of course, with their respective deputies. Now, Section 50 of the Constitution provides for election of House officers by the respective chambers, members sitting there. However, even though some people kicked, I can't let the party for being able to pull it through. And now for this are strand of officers, majority leader, deputy majority leader, chief whip, deputy chief whip, and all that, for both houses. One would have also thought that the same discipline will allow the party to take the lead will continue. And if I have my facts right, what national chairman, Adlai Adamu Senator, is simply sitting on is the party should hold the reins, the party should call the shots in every constitutional democracy such as ours, where parties are the platform upon which we will run elections. This is expected. I do not know how anybody gets into office, suddenly jettisons the supremacy of the party. They are independent candidates for God's sake. The party will at all times work towards strengthening the position of the party and giving strength to the government that's better. So I think, with respect to whatever agitations are rising, Whoever thinks that the removal of the party chairman will be a recipe for the uh, problems that are trying to avoid is going to exacerbate the crisis. The opposite party, the PDP, is already in a mess because of same leadership issues. In a democracy such as ours, uh, you know, one can never say. The moment you have this high turnover of national chairman of the party, or that members of the National Working Committee, you create a crisis environment. It will not be long. Everybody will be at baggage drawn. And then the government itself will be distracted because you start the fight too early in the day. Don't forget, mm. this is a four-year journey. 
I see what you and others have to settle down and deliver what the party has promised Nigerians. For me, uh, the National Chamber was elected at the convention, and the party constitution is clear about how to remove him. If remove him in a manner that suggests a subversion of the constitution, whether I like it or not, where I come from, they say every goat or dog has an owner. And the owners of the dog or goat will not be happy that you're slaughtering the animals. For you, it might be okay. meat, but for them, it's, it's, they are pets. So it's important that we realize that it's not too early in the day. I, I think the president should intervene. President, okay. uh, people who have shown the capacity for uh, leadership that tra have traversed generations. Abdul Adamu happens to be a member of his class of 1999 governors. Now, when he was governor of Lagos, Abdul Adamu was governor of uh, National State. So to that extent, they are contemporaries as it were. It would not be too hard for him, therefore, to reach out to him and smoothen the edges. There are any rough edges, imagine. The second of the government happened to uh, Joe Dakume, also a senator, also comes from the same class of 1999 governors. So it's easier to navigate through the whole maze and get to some kind of approach more. I think that it's too early in the day to start a fight. And if APC goes into this kind of battle at this stage, we may not come out better. I foresee a station where, uh, if I'm not careful what happened in 2019, what happened, we came off the back of a victory in 2015 against the PDP. And almost immediately removed His Excellency Senator, sorry, Chief John Odigo Yegu as national chairman. After the Shumile came in, the turbulence have followed. The APC at the end of the day in 2019 lost five states. Including Zafarawa, we lost everything. After we won everything. Yeah. I think that that's a red flag that we have right now. We can't afford to have another crisis repeat itself. If you try mm -hmm. it this time, we might lose again in 2023. In 2027, I beg your pardon. Okay. Uh, let me push you a bit further because you know many would say that this is not the first time um, that this uh, has happened. So, um, just as you clearly stated, we've had the Oyegun situation, and and then of course we had Oshomole, and now we have Adamu. But but let's look at the president wading in on this matter. There are those who are saying that the president should hands off that this is purely um, a national assembly matter and it should be dealt with by members of the National Assembly, as opposed to the party interloping and, you know, getting its hands dirty. Hence the people calling for the head of the, the chairman of the party. I mean, you're on one hand calling for the president to wade into the matter uh, because you think that he might be able to solve it. But many are saying that the president should hands off and that this does not concern the president, and neither does it concern uh, the chairman of the party. Uh, that, that's that's not correct. I, I, I will not go with that kind of reasoning. The, the, every member of the National Assembly was elected on the party platform. And that's why, apart from the constitutionally recognized offices of Senate President, Deputy Senate President, Speaker, and Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, the, the House rules and Senate rules provide for other principal officers of the respective chambers. Now, there is a majority office, an office of minority, no opposite. So the party positions are recognized along those lines. Now, if you don't moderate the tensions and say the party should stay away, or the president should stay away, the president himself was elected on the party platform. So how would they ask him to stay away? There must be a moderation of the forces. Otherwise, it's going to be everybody goes at daggers drawn, and then there'll be crisis everywhere. My calculation is that the APC have not fully matured into one single jail. In 2015, we came as um, an amalgam of um, different legacy parties. So, for the first shock that came, ahead of 2019, we almost collapsed. It said that the university did not have a candidate at all. It's that for our candidates who won elections everywhere, yet we lost everything by judicial fiat. We lost all your states. We lost Bashi states. We lost um, um, uh, about five states in the whole, all right, that were in our firm grip. We managed to consolidate in 2023. Now, let's not also lose the fact that the PDP also can rebound if the PDP does not rebound, Labour Party is already showing some strong promise. For me, it's too early in the day to have this crisis. And I want to urge the president and national chairman to come to a round table to resolve this issue. Thankfully, mm. thankfully, around the president, all the key players are astute politicians. Fenwick Bajabia Bela, chief of staff, comes with a huge pedigree of experience, National Assembly. So he can wade in at the level. He has the president's political decks. He should wade in. The, the Senate, the, speak, the, the Secretary of the Government of the Federation is also a former senator, 
who was at some point a governor. So he comes with corporate experience from the executive and the receive arms of government. The president himself was a former senator. His wife is a senator. So all around him, there's experience that should help him navigate through this process. I don't think that anyone that says um, the president should be aloof because it's a party matter, it's not a party matter, should have something. No. Internal affairs and national assembly can cause a destabilization at the end of the day. We need to have a focused okay. regime. We need to have a focused house. And the level can have a focus on to have a stable parliament where the president's policies can be driven through without, without okay. chaos and without hiccups. Okay. All right. Let me go to Tunji. Tunji, you're a member of the People's Democratic Party. And you're not a, um, you, this is not new to the PDP because we know that the PDP at some point had its own fair share of chairmanship drama and inter-party drama, which one way or the other many would point to as a reason for which your uh, party lost out in the 2023 general election. So again, um, as an outsider looking in, um, what do you make of this drama? Um, did, did the Senate president uh, jump the gun here, being that the National Working Committee of the party had quickly disowned, um, you know, the yeah, announcement of those workers, as opposed to, you know, what the party and the National Working Committee should have done, because they're saying that this is this should have been their duty, as opposed to, um, you know, Senator Fabio jumping the gun. Yeah, uh, for uh, for me, firstly, let me say, I want to first of all disagree that PDP is in a mess. PDP is not in a mess. It's just a crisis, just like uh, APC and other parties are going through the same crisis. All parties go through crisis. The only difference is that APC were able to, before the election, uh, manage their crisis in a way that uh, they were able to get results. Thank God they don't have people like uh, Governor Wiki, former Governor Wiki in their, in, their, in their midst. Probably they would have been the same uh, soon, like a uh, PDP. So uh, let me just say that, look, the, it's only in Nigeria that where you see somebody will be a member of executive and he wants to also be part, part of the parliament. They want to control the parliament. They want to determine what happened in parliament. It's only in Nigeria where they will tell me the president will determine who becomes a senior president, who becomes a leader, or or, 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 or they should determine the leadership of the party, uh, of, the, of, of, of the National yeah. Assembly. It's only in Nigeria where you see them, they say, party must be the one to determine who becomes a senior president or those who become the leaders of the party. It is the way of fighting democracy for goodness sake. In a democracy, there's what we call separation of power. There's National Assembly, there's executive. They all have their own role. The party has its own role. The role, as far as I'm concerned, the role of the party and that of the president should be just an advising role to them, not, 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 to, not to tell them this is, this is the people to, that should be, or they should be the one to tell me who and who should be the leadership of, of, of the National Assembly. National Assembly is a separate uh, uh, organ of the government, and by Section 50 of the, of, of, of the Constitution, they are giving the power to elect their own leaders in, in, at the National Assembly. The, what we see today is that a situation whereby we, the, the president will have to determine who becomes the senior president. The president will have to determine who becomes the deputy senior president. The president will have to determine who becomes uh, uh, leader, leader of, the, of, of the National Assembly. You see, this is not, we can't have a, a, a system that works because we will have, be having a, a, a system whereby the executive will determine and dominate what happens at the National Assembly. Because when you when 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 you have a National Assembly that is choosing or that, that whose head or, or, or is chosen by the executive, that head will be loyal to the to the executive. And that in other words, I'm not saying there's nothing bad in the, having a, a, a good relationship. But sometimes this relationship we're talking about in Nigeria is not that relationship. The relationship of anything goes. They don't care what they are what they have a, a, that that good relationship or rapport. Whether whatever you bring. They will, they, will, they will pass it without even looking into it. You can see what happened in the last, uh, 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 the ninth assembly, whereby the former state president said, whatever the president brings to them, they will approve it, even without looking at it. And that was why a, a contract agreement was brought to them that was written in Chinese, and it was passed by them without even knowing what is in the, in the agreement. So I don't want that constitution. As far as I'm concerned, the, 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 I, I, am, I recognize the right of the party to be involved or to, to be constructed or to be given uh, information as to what to, to happen. It's not for them to dictate to the to, to, to the National Assembly who and who should be the leader. Send ditto to the to the secretary and the president. The president should not be the one to tap. But in Nigeria, like I said earlier, we 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 often the, our loyalty is to the president. Loyalty, and that's why we are not getting it right in this country today. There is no loyalty to the country. The loyalty is to the president and to the party. Once the party is in, is looking for a particular uh, uh, thing, you must go in that in that in that direction. You, when the party is not looking, is not going that direction. You must, you, must, you know, cannot go there. The, the second, the, the president, if he's not interested in a particular role, uh, line of, of action by the party, that chairman must follow the president. Otherwise, he will go. 
So I, so I, I the, the system we are having, the system we are But, but, but Tunde, might I ask, because, you know, many would be, I'm, I'm sure I'm echoing the minds of a couple of people, not just because I'm start, standing in the gap for the APC. I mean, Subay is here to speak for himself. That if the tables were turned, it's the same thing that the PDP would do, because many would say that just like the PDP, the APC is, and, and, and you know, vice versa. Um, this is the same thing that would happen if the PDP were in the position of the APC. <laughs> These political parties seem to always exalt party and, of course, members of the executive above the people and the interest of the general public. Can you say that the PDP is totally different from the APC in this regard? In as much as I'm, as I'm not talking about PDP or APC here, yeah, if, if you see all the things that I've said, I talk about what, is, what, what should be, what, how it should be, what should, what should happen. I mean, not, whether PDP or APC, I'm not saying that. Guy. And I'd like not to say that I admit that if PDP will do the same thing or they will, they will, they will, they will do worse than what they are doing now. Are, are you admitting that, or you're not admitting? I don't understand. Yeah, not, are you admitting I'm, or not I'm, admitting? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not admitting. They are, I'm not admitting. They are just telling you, I'm not admitting that that, that, that will happen. That's, that would be an assumption. Uh, because uh, what we have now is APC. APC is in grand now. So let's see what they are doing. If we're if APDP is in, uh, 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 in charge, we can say, okay. But now they are not in charge. That would be everything I would be saying would be in the name of an assumption okay. and a, a presumption. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not even talking about as APC or PDP. I'm talking about what it should be obtainable in a democracy. In a democracy, the National Assembly should be independent. It should be, it should be able to do and do its, its program on its own without any recourse to the, next, to, the, to the secretary. But as a party man, they can have recourse to their party or to the executive for as, as advice or consultation, not for them to say, look, we, we need to get directive from the president. We need to get directive from the national, uh, the, chair, the, the party or the chairman of the party. That's what I've been, that's what I've been happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not accelerating PDP in that regard too. Well, while PDP was there too, the same thing was happening. The, the, the president of the who becomes uh, the leader in the house. If you are not in line with that, you, they, 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 there was a problem with them. Uh, at the at the at the eighth assembly, simply because the president is not in, in tune with the with with the, with with, with, with the, the Dr. Bukala Salaki. Now that was that was why you saw all those crises at that time. Not because he was not performing, not because he was not doing his job, but because the president don't want him. They want different person to become a a, 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 a the state president, a president of the state of, of, of Nigeria. As far as I'm concerned, for our democracy to grow. National Assembly, as, as an organ of government, should be able to operate on its own. Executives should be on their own. Why must executives want to influence whatever happens at the National Assembly? If you have a good project you want to bring to the a policy or whatever you want to bring to the National Assembly, lobby them, talk to them. Let, don't, don't, want, let, don't just say you want people that will just pass whatever you bring. Nobody will fight you. Everybody is fighting for Nigeria. We have, we have, well, the interest of those at National Assembly, what they are looking for is in, in Nigerian development. The executives are also looking for the same thing. So if you are bringing policies or, or that, will, that will develop the country, they will pass it. They don't have to bribe them. You don't have to come and say, I need people who will be my who, who are my own. So you are, that means you are looking for a, those people that will be called, that you call rubber stamp. Those are whatever you bring, whether right or wrong, they, 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 they approve it. And that's what we're looking that, That's what they're looking for. And that's why they, they, they are more concerned about having their own as leader at, at, at the end. All the affairs of the of the of the of the, of the national assembly. It is not done. To, to and you can't go be, that manner. Before I let you go and bring Sobe in to finalize this, um, Sobe made mention of the fact that the, the the APC has not necessarily ripened to a point where it can stand on its two feet. Um, uh, being that there are too many things that make a hole, and they're yet to get to that hole. Um, can the can that center of the APC hold right now? Uh, up until the end of this first tenor, uh, or do do we see a deterioration from here on? I I want to agree with him that the APC has not uh, gotten its foot uh, well because I see today they see that those factions are still there. The APC faction, I uh, sorry, the ACM faction, the CPC faction, the the, the, the last regime that is the president body. The of those those in the cabinet are for are, are CPC caucus. Today, what we've seen today are those ACN, uh, uh, old ACN uh, caucus. Those are the people that will populate uh, the, 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 the cabinet and, uh, uh, and uh, around, the, around the president. So I want to agree with him that truly that they are not, they are not, they are not standing well as it is today. They are just a, a people okay. who just come together to grab power and they're able to grab the power. But as one, they are not united. So where, finally, because we have just a minute to go, um, if, if the National Working Committee continuously insists, because right here... Um, the National Working Committee is saying we didn't give approval. 
We haven't given any list. We are only hearing what we're hearing now is just rumors. And they're saying they're calling a meeting. Um, and then whatever comes of, um, of that meeting is what will um, obviously be heard in our news and on the newspapers as it's who would be the principal officers. Um, what should we be hoping for? Fingers crossed. So, Bay, can you hear me? So, Bay, can you hear me? Are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. In, in yes. one quick I minute, can you can you help us wrap up? Yeah, the National Hockey Committee should be very, very circumspect. We should be retrospective as to what had happened before in the past. Let Thunder not strike at one spot twice. Whatever is issue can be resolved. But I I agree vehemently with Tunji. Um, you can't have the parties to be aloof. If anything falls, anything goes wrong, they call the APC as a party. So everything rises and falls to the party. So the party leadership, the president himself, must be involved in what happens in that assembly. Even in the advanced democracy of the United States, why why did the why did the Democrats lose moment to moment Nancy Pelosi lost elections in the midterm elections? Why why is why does it look like the Democrats may not get it right? Because they've lost the judicial control of the, of the of the Congress, so oh, the party okay. must the party must take interest in what goes on in government. The party is the parent okay. of the government, and no responsible party will stand and look and watch because Nigerians will soon okay. turn the blame. The party failed. They must make interest, but not to not to control and determine what happened. Okay, gentlemen, we have to go. We have to go. Unfortunately, uh, that's our time. I want to say thank you to Jeffrey Abdulhamid, uh, Eli. Uh, are both lawyers. Uh, Tunji is a member of the People's Democratic Party, while Sugwe Eli is a member of the All Progressive Congress. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for speaking with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. Well, we will take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about the jam controversy with Mesoma and what the National Assembly's position is on the matter. Stay with us. <laughs> 